Okay, I've got a projector screen to fit. It's a 203 by centimetre wide by 203 centimetre high, which gives me about 289 centimetres across. It's about 114 inches, around about that sort of that sort of uh, size. So it's, it's quite big. Uh, I'm going to be fitting it in this room, um, just on that ceiling there. I think you can see it already. Yeah, I'm going to be fitting it right up there. Um, it's got to be in front of this stuff, um, so it's got to come down in front of it. So. Yeah, it's going to be interesting that, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a lot of stuff. There's an electric piano and stuff here, so we've got a lot of stuff to move and get it up there. Um, so, I'm going to just uh, get out of its box and we'll take it from there. Okay, here it is here. This is, uh, this is the uh, projector screen. Uh, it is looks enormous and yeah it is it's pretty big so that's the size of it it's uh, huge um so i'll need to get it opened up and uh, we'll get it up Not going exactly as planned as you can see here. I don't know if you can see that, but these are the instructions are in French or German. I can't read French or German, so uh, I guess I'm just going to have to work it out. So what I can work out from this is the if you're putting it on the wall, you've got this. If you're putting a screw, you put your screw into the wall and just hang that onto the screw. Uh, if you put it on the ceiling, then you need to hook it with this. So you need two hooks to go into your ceiling, so then you can just connect that on. I'm not too uh, pleased about that. Uh, I much prefer to have some sort of fitting into the, the plastic here and being able to uh, fit this straight onto the ceiling. It'll make it much tighter up there. Uh, much closer to your ceiling and out of the way of your eye line so uh, yeah I'm not not pleased about that really uh, I'd much prefer a different a different fitting to fit that onto the ceiling because it's going onto the ceiling um, but I want it tight to the ceiling I want it right up there out of the way so you don't even notice the thing but if that's possible but uh, we'll see the first thing we need to do is uh, measure the length of this thing um, so we need to get a tape so take your tape and measure between the two uh, hoops 212 what you want to do now is uh, measure on your ceiling you want to measure the distance out from the wall that you want this so basically these things stick out 60, 100 mil from the wall. That's where the holes should be, 100 mil from the walls. Now we need to get up there and mark up two holes, uh, the distance uh, apart of uh, the two hoops and we shall get it screwed up there, get some uh, uh, hooks and get it hooked up so you want to get up to your ceiling to be able to mark up um, where you want this so I'm 100 mil out from the wall it is 212 centimeters long so I need two spots where I can drill fixing hooks or um, hopefully I'll be hitting some wood uh, I'm going to go up the ladders and we shall get some marks on the walls so basically on the ceiling, sorry, on the ceiling. It would be better than marking the wall, since we want it on the ceiling. Uh, 212 centimetres across. 
Right, 212. myself a wee bit on me Two meters. Ten. Still got miles to go. Two twelve is right there. Oh. Yeah. I want to measure a hundred millimetres out from the wall to keep it nice and straight. What I'm going to do now is drill those holes um, and we'll get some sort of fixing in there. Now I've got a lathe and plaster ceiling, it's an old traditional type ceiling. It's pretty weak, most people have a plasterboard ceiling in the UK. Um, so you can use uh, butterfly fixings for this, which go into the 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 plasterboard and open up, and they, they're pretty strong. They'll be well strong enough to hold that. Um, you could use the curly whirly ones that drive into the into the plasterboard, but they're not as strong as the butterfly fixings. So you need to be careful with them. Uh, if you over tighten them you break them out and they're very weak so for me i'm afraid it's a traditional drill roll plug situation and uh, that's what will be holding this up and it weighs a few kilos it's, uh, there is a bit of weight you really don't want it coming down on somebody's head uh, when it's not in use obviously there's a piano sitting there so uh, there's going to be somebody sitting under it, so it needs to be pretty, pretty strong. So I'm just going to get the drills and drill a couple of holes and cover up everything for the dust because there's an incredible amount of I'm dust. Just setting my, my drill up. Um, I'm going to use a six millimeter drill for the. I'm just going to use the red roll plugs. I think that'll be fine. And because I've got lathe up there, that generally you can. You can get a screw into that as well, which will uh, sort of strengthens it right up. So it should be well ample for holding this. Um, right, I've covered things up with the dust sheets. And don't forget to wear some eye protection. I'm going to put these on. Um, just to protect my eyes, because I'm working overhead. And you can get some nasty dust right in your eyes. So I'm going to just go up there and do that right now. Hmm. I've had absolutely nothing, so it's completely empty up there. So I might have to get a, um, a bigger fixing in there. Um, I've got some big roll plugs that I can use for this type of ceiling. So, next one. Next hole. Again, absolutely nothing. But that's us, that's basically it. Now I need to fit in a decent roll plug. Although I've done a six mil hole, there's a bit of leeway in this stuff because it's very soft and it's not good at all. So I'll just show you the roll plugs that I'm going to use for this. I was thinking about this one but it's a bit long. Uh, what will happen is when the screw goes in it will open up but really there's too, too much uh, distance there for it to travel. So basically what you'll have is a bit of movement on that when it's tightened. Um, so I need to go for something smaller. And one of these should open up nicely in the actual plaster and give it a right good uh, holding. Um, I could use a butterfly fixing, but I would be worried about it breaking out of the, the old plaster. Um, it's not as strong as a plaster board, so it's uh, it gives you different problems. That So I'm going to use these ones, we'll see how we get on with them. Um, Obviously, if the strength isn't up to it, then we need to think and redo it again. 
but when you're putting these up it's really your call when you when you decide what is strong enough to hold the weight of the projector screen and also you've got to pull that projector screen down and if you've got kids um, it might be getting pulled down violently so you need to take all that into consideration and you know pretty much what I would say is use the best fixings <clears throat> especially if it's going into the, the ceiling if it's into the wall you'll get a much better fix because you'll, you'll be able to you know, unless it's a plasterboard wall but even so the the strains that aren't directly onto the screws so when they're up like that the force is directly down so it's easier to pull out a screw than if it's in that way and it's getting pulled down it's much stronger just with, just with the position of the screw so when you're putting it into the ceiling it's it, it's a bit more tricky it's a bit more tricky than than uh, putting it onto the wall so just bear that in mind and uh, you shouldn't have any any problems uh, right i'm going to put these in now i'll just put them into the hopefully they should just slip in these holes yeah not not a problem it just needs a wee tap in with a hammer get this tapped in to the space there we go that's pretty good feels nice and tight and then once we put our hook into that it should be solid this one, just put that in, there we go, it's nice and tight, and tap in, yeah, feels great, feels really solid in there, so it's gripping really well, um, and they look like they're nice and in line, so basically all we need now is the hooks, these are pretty substantial, they're quite thick, you know, um, and they've got a good thread on them, a good amount of threads, you can buy these hooks and they've got tiny wee threads on them, they're useless, you need something that's quite substantial, a lot of thread, quite thick, so it'll go in your 6mm hole, uh, your 6mm roll plug, um, and these should be, these should be great, so I'm just going to put these up uh, on the, on the ceiling, and then we'll see if the measurements were right and the thing actually can hang up on the ceiling. Um, that'll be the big, the big tester for it. So I'll put these up just now. I'm going to start with this one, since the ladders are here. Put it into the roll plug and screw it in by hand. And if your roll plug's good, it should stay in the one place and not spin with the hook. If it spins, then it's no use. It's not holding anything. Uh, so then you would need to replace the roll plug, do another hole, different roll plug. So this is going in nicely. This gets pretty strong. It's well strong. Okay. So it's a way in. I'm putting it in as deep as it can go because I want this as close to the ceiling as it can get. So just screw it in nice and slowly though it broke the roll plug out the actually broke the roll plug out the uh, plaster so this one's no use so now i'm going to because that eight mil is broken out the hole's now a bit bigger than it was so now i'm going to use this this is a 10 mil uh, roll plug uh, and what these do is these compact down and splay out at the top um really strong again good um Good quality roll plug it fits in there nice nice and uh, tight so i'm going to put this in the ceiling we'll see if we can get it hammered into the ceiling um i might have to drill it out a wee bit if i need to drill it out and obviously use a 10 mil drill that's it in now right doesn't work either none of the roll plugs would hold in the in the plaster just far too soft um, the first one, which is up, is really pretty good. Um, so what I've done in the second one there is I have, I don't know if you can see that in the light, but anyway, I've, I've, what I've done is I've found a piece of wood up there. Um, been quite lucky, quite lucky to find a bit of wood. So basically I have just uh, screwed 
straight into the wood and made a wee pilot hole first through the plaster with the drill. Um, I mean, this is taking me it's a good 35 minutes just to do that hole, um, just because of the, the material that it is. But anyway, it's sorted now. I've managed to find a decent uh, fixing in there. I mean, I'm in the process of just uh, tightening it up. And basically, I just wanted to explain uh, what had happened. So this feels really tight, it's really good. So uh, this should be well strong. Yeah, that's way strong enough for this. Hopefully, the threads will yeah, stay on it. So that's about the same as the other one. Yeah, we're good. We are good. The only problem I've got now is... There's a massive big hole in the ceiling, so basically I've got to go and fill that. So I'll get my filler and I'll fill it up so that it's not in your face, uh, big black hole, basically. So I'll get some filler, fill it up, and that should be okay. Awesome. I've got my filler now. Uh, basically, I'm using this stuff to dial decorator's cock. So um, just put a bit of that in and it should uh, stay up there. Uh, I find this stuff's really quite good. It doesn't shrink much, um, so it should it should stay okay in that in that hole. And it's uh, over paintable, and you can decorate over it. So and this room's um, going to be getting decorated soon. So is there's no big deal. But if your room's uh, decorated. You know, you probably need to touch up a wee bit of paint because uh, when it's uh, when you put it in, um, it looks nice and white, but after a while it can it can change colour. It'll go sort of yellowy, or it might pick up some dirt, looks sort of dirty, like a dirty spot. So um, you might need to touch up a wee bit of paint, whatever colour your ceiling is. But I'm going to just put this in there just now and. Also stops the rubble coming down. It's just a constant stream of dust coming out of here. I'm gonna put that in. I'm also gonna put a wee bit around the hook there because there's no roll plug yet. We should be ready to put this thing up now. So doing it yourself is tricky. But I've got a plan, so um I just get as close to that one as possible and try and keep the ladders in between them both. I think we can actually get this up just uh, with one man. Um, obviously, if it's two people where you are, use two people. Um, right, okay, let's see if this works. This is where you know all the measurements come in. If we've got the measurements right, we shall see if this works. So that's in the first hook there, no problem. Nice and strong. And the second hook, there we are, and that's it, it's up, um, that's it, up and ready to rock and roll. So just a matter of taking off the, the cling film, both sides, undoing this, and we'll see how it works. So that's it, that's the stuff off it now, it's ready to roll. Um, Looks a wee bit squinty, that one's a bit lower than that one. I'll adjust that as needed. Anyway, just let's see this. I've not unrolled this yet, it's the first time it's been out. So, it's pretty big, it'll come out further than that. Which is there, uh, pretty good. Um, that's big enough for us. Uh, it should be, should be fun. Should be fun. So that's that's that. That's the uh, Jago Twenty Four projection screen. A lot of people have put on reviews that it's sort of Disney flat, or but it looks pretty good to me. It's nice and white. It looks okay. It looks good. And it tucks away. Nothing. Um, 
I've got a couple of wee tweaks obviously, I'll straighten that up, I'll twist that one in a wee bit more and after that we'll be finished and we can enjoy films on the new projector screen. Hopefully that's good, hopefully this has helped you in some form or fashion and you will enjoy watching movies on a big screen if you have a projector. Okay. <laughs>